Let's have five and a half inches of Jamie McCrimmon. What is up everybody, welcome back to another Doctor Who video here on my channel. We have got some amazing news today, here today, in this video. Al Duar has just come out and said that he will be hoping to release some more sets with B&M as early as January 2020. That is only a few months away, that will extend Christmas like amazingly well. I really hope this is true. So, with that being said, in this video I want to give you a rundown of the ideas that I think character options could potentially do and re-release some sets to give us collectors more chance of getting older figures that are just going for astronomical prices at the moment. So with that being said, let's jump straight into it and see what I reckon we could have. And before we do jump straight into it, I want you guys commenting down below letting me know what you think of my ideas and I also want to know what your ideas would be for some amazing re-released sets that B&M and character options could do. So let's jump in with the first Doctor, William Hartnell, the original. Okay, so starting off with the first Doctor, let's have a Doctor Who and the Dead Planet set. And you're thinking, what could possibly be in that? Well, of course, the first Doctor, William Hartnell, would have to be in it. And that could be the one that is pointing up to here, just right there. Let's have a straight re-release of the very first Doctor that came with the first Doctor and Dalek colour set, because that one, in my eyes, is the best. And then let's have not one, but two re-released Dead Planet Daleks, because these Daleks need to be army built, but they're so expensive. They originally came out in the Dalek Collector set number one, and they're going for like 40 or 50 quid sometimes. Just for one Dalek, it's incredibly frustrating and annoying. So with that set being released, we could have an amazing opportunity to army build the original Daleks, the Dead Planet Daleks. Oh, please, please let this happen. So moving on to the second Doctor, Patrick Troughton, let's have a second Doctor set. Let's have a re-released second Doctor any one of those will do, along with a retweaked Brigadier, perhaps without his berry on, or yeah, I guess that would work. Just give us a bit of a variant there of the Brigadier, and then let's have a brand new head sculpt. Let's have Jamie McCrimmon, because I just think we need Jamie in this collection. It has to happen. Fraser Hines, who is the actor that played Jamie McCrimmon all those years ago, has just released a video, and it's of him opening the brand new Eagle Moss Jamie McCrimmon figure. And you can tell he's very excited. So let's go up a scale. Let's have five and a half inches of Jamie McCrimmon. Be amazing. So moving on to the third Dr. Jean Pertwee, let's have a unit pack. A what pack? Yeah, you heard it, let's have a unit pack. Let's have another release of the Brigadier. Can be one we've already had, wouldn't bother me. And then, gonna be cheeky and ask for two brand new head sculpts, Captain Yates and Sergeant Benson. We need the unit family together to be fighting against the Master alongside Joe Grant and the Doctor. Come on, it would be fantastic. And if that's too much to ask, how about we just have some standard unit troops with some kind of just, you know, normal faces that haven't cost much to mold because they're not of anyone. That would be awesome too, just to build a unit army, an army of humans. Ah, oh, it'd be great because all my armies and whatnots are all monsters and aliens. Let's have some humans, let's have some goodies. It would be incredible. And that also gives me another idea, you know. The Daleks. The Daleks need to be re-released again and again and again because the Daleks are simply amazing. So why don't we have what I would call the Scarrow set? I mean, you could have Scarrow set one, Scarrow set two, etc., etc. And in set number one, we would have another re-release Dead Planet Dalek alongside the exclusively rare and hard to find sound effects. Well, that wouldn't need to be sound effects. Chase Guard Dalek, you know, the one with the blue dome. And then, of course, next to that, the Invasion of Earth Dalek again wouldn't need to have sound effects in it, get rid of that chip, it makes it too expensive. Let's just have those three Daleks in a set and call it the Scarrow set. It would be amazing. You could probably even get away with charging £25 for it in B&M. We would still buy it, we would still be tremendously excited for it. So let's make that happen in 2020. Moving on down to the fourth Doctor himself, the bad boy, the one with a scarf and the jelly babies, the Tom Baker of Doctors. The fourth Doctor. So, how about we have another Revenge of the Cybermen set? This time, not just two standard Cybermen and Cyber Leader. What about this? What about one standard Revenge Cyberman? A re release of Harry Sullivan, this time in his blue outfit, I believe he wears in this one. So, reusing the head sculpt. And a brand new head sculpt for the beautiful, young, loving Sarah Jane Smith, Elizabeth Sladen. We would have the most amazing, amazing set on our hands if that was to be released in 2020. Please, let's make that one happen. 
So now moving on to the fifth Doctor. We could have some more straight re-releases to make the costs of these sets come down in production value. So how about having another set which contains an Earthshock Cyberman straight re-release of course. The fifth Doctor, I know, another straight re-release. But then we could also have Adric. So this could be the Earthshock set. We all really want Matthew Waterhouse as a 5 inch figure, of course, it would be amazing. So come on, let's have that head sculpt, let's have Adric, let's have that little magical mathematician star badge. It would be amazing to see. I mean, yeah, it would be amazing. And while I'm on the subject of Earthshock Cybermen, a very slight repaint, just give us a cyber leader with the black striped panels on his handlebars, easy brand new figure thank you very much hope that happens okay so moving on to the sick doctor how about we have an attack of the cybermen set it's as simple as it sounds we could have an attack cyberman that was originally released in a bnm set believe it or not we could also have a rogue cyberman we could also have the stealth cyberman so we've now got three cybermen and you know what they could mix things up and make this a four figure pack potentially and include the brand new head sculpt of the cyber controller and if four figures is too many for one pack break it down let's have some with the cyber controller some without swap it around a little bit maybe make that the, the kind of the chase kind of rare set to get hold of oh it would be amazing please let that happen you imagine trying to track down attack of the cybermen set and then trying to track down the attack of the cybermen set limited edition that had the cyber controller in it oh b m would absolutely melt with all us amazing doctor who fans running around trying to find it it would be amazing and this brings me to the seventh doctor guys come on how about we have what we've always, always wanted, and that is a straight re-release of the Imperial Dalek that originally came with the 7th Doctor and Dalek set. Davros, as you can see in front of me, the Emperor Davros, which would be again a straight re-release with the special weapons Dalek. It would be the Remembrance of the Daleks pack that we've always, always wanted. It would simply make my year. So please, Please, Aldoar, hear our cries and demands and make this happen. Okay guys, so that pretty much wraps up where I'm going with Doctors 1 through to 7. Of course we can have some more big finish sets just for the sheer hell of it because I love them, they're fantastic and they've just been introduced to us. But there are some other figures that I've missed off this list which I must, must mention. Let's finally get ourselves the last classic Cyberman that we need, the Moonbase styled Cyberman and pack him with some Cybermats, it'd be amazing. Let's have some more classic Autons just different paint apps basically change the boiler suit have a few more maybe shop window dummy type all ons be incredible let's get another seventh doctor with a cream jacket with a hat but the solemn head we need this it would be hopefully quite simple and easy to make so let's just just have it let's do it while i'm on the seventh doctor let's have another seventh doctor but the regenerated seventh doctor so the seventh doctor in the sixth doctor's clothes again simple head swap I know a lot of us have done that as a custom, but I want I want the real thing. I want the real McCoy, literally. And another set that I can think of, including the Seventh Doctor. This could be the one with a solemn hat. Let's have the pink TARDIS because everyone is yearning after the pink TARDIS from the Happiness Patrol. I don't know why it's at the bottom of this list because it is something that I've really wanted for ages and it would be amazing for army building and that is an original Silurian from Doctor Who and the Silurians, one of the best favourite stories of mine in, in Doctor Who history. So let's make that happen. So thank you everybody for watching this video. I will see you all again very soon in another video and here's to January 2020 when we may well get some of these sets, I hope. Until then, take care. Goodbye for now.